honored guests, distinguished judges, ladies and gentlemen, not a evening for speeches, but only two things. The first one from my side is, Miss Namibia Virgin is what we mean to empower girls. Empowerment is to mean to develop them, to prepare them for the world out there. And because of that, I want just to ask the private sector, please, this is not just a competition. Come on board. Let's make it better and bigger. Let's stand together. Let's support, and as we support, if we become more, the prices will come down or even. Number two, this is the time where we talk about democracy. And I want to plead with each and everyone sitting here, please go and register. That is your democratic right.
Representative representative of the Namibian people, especially our cultures, and that is why I love dressing up with the different tribes and cultures that represent the different people that we have. Thank you very much for that question, Dr. Esperance. As my advocacy focuses on the conscious empowerment of women, together with the Smile Princess Foundation, when I started my journey for Miss Namibia, I was told that I was a minor to the pageantry because it is too big. It is too big for what I want to do for myself and the community. But I believe that as a queen or as a representative of the nation, you need to focus more on what you want to create. A accomplish that I'm truly proud of is being the youngest contestant in this novel year. And with that being said, I'm very truly proud of myself because being 19 years old and being in this platform has really taught me that anything is possible and anything that you put your mind to, you can achieve. And I want to tell my fellow young women in society that don't look at your age, don't let your age define you, do what you want to do and let your dreams come true. Oh, and we should stop it. Thank you. The journey I have walked in my life has been nothing short of every step I take. To my successor, remember to always blossom and conquer the world. Carry this crown with compassion, resilience, and pride. Finally, I that embracing your uniqueness, staying true to yourself and being genuine is one of the deepest ways to draw people closer to you. Don't forget who you are, where you come from and where you're going. Thank you. I just wanted to say to all of you, thank you so much. I feel so happy and I'm glad that uh, I can do something for the community. Because in my perspective is that um, you have to leave a legacy behind. And uh, as a person, you cannot come on this earth and, and don't do anything for yourself and for others. You have to do something for others so that you have a legacy that other people can build on. And this evening, um, and I want to thank Deb Marie for taking out these diamonds <laughs> that we can sell it to the public. So at Gorman's School Diamond Shop, we are selling 100% Namibian diamonds um, that was recovered in, in Namibia. And it's also cut and polished in Namibia. So 100% the Namibians are benefiting uh, from this whole process. So that is what we're trying to do at, at Gorman's School. Uh, so this evening, we are going to give our top three uh, a diamond each from the former school diamond shop. So the diamonds are it's three, uh, 0.3 carat stones, probably worth about um, yeah, $30,000. Uh, the Namibian diamond is has got the, it's probably the, the highest gem quality, so really, really good diamonds that we find here in Namibia. Uh, so, good luck with our... Miss Namibia 2024 is... Yeah. Our title 